The study of patterns in nature is not something that is very familiar in the West. But in ancient China, this science was known as Li. Li reflects the dynamic order and pattern in nature. But it is not pattern thought of as something static, frozen or unchanging, like a mosaic. It is dynamic pattern as embodied in all living things. The arteries of leaves, the markings of the tortoise and the vein patterns on rocks are all expressions of nature's secret language and art. The labyrinth is one of many Li patterns. It is found in coral structures, mushrooms like the morel, cabbages, and in the human brain. The cellular pattern is another common form in nature. There are a myriad of different cellular structures, but all have a similar orderliness defined by their purpose and function. It is easy to be mesmerized with a constant play of forms. But what is most interesting is that certain archetypal forms seem to be woven into the fabric of nature at all. The branching pattern is another Li pattern, or archetypal pattern, that is observable at all levels and all fractal scales. Take for example this incredible image of a supercomputer simulation known as the Millennium Run, showing the distribution of dark matter in the local universe. It was created by the Max Planck Society in Germany. Dark matter is essentially what we previously thought of as empty space. It is like an invisible nervous system that runs throughout the universe. The universe is literally like a giant brain. It is constantly thinking, using a type of dark or hidden energy that science is only starting to understand. Through this immense network, unfathomable energy moves, providing the momentum for the expansion and growth of the universe. Nature creates branching patterns automatically when we set up the right conditions. Nature is an art generating machine or a beauty creating engine. Here, electricity is being used to grow silver crystal branches. The footage is time lapsed as they grow over several hours. The crystals form on the aluminum cathode as ions are electrodeposited from a silver nitrate solution. The formation is self-organizing. You are seeing artwork generated by nature itself. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe said, Beauty is a manifestation of secret natural laws, which otherwise would have been hidden from us forever. In this sense, everything in nature is alive, self-organizing. When higher voltage is used, the fractal branching becomes even more obvious. This is happening in real time.
In the human body, tree-like structures and patterns are found throughout. There are of course the nervous systems that Western medicine knows about. But in Chinese, Ayurvedic and Tibetan medicine, the energy meridians are a central component to understanding how the body functions. The nadis, or energy meridians, form tree-like structures. A post-mortem examination will not reveal the chakras or the nadis. But that does not mean they do not exist. You need to refine your tool that you use to look. You must first learn to quiet your own mind. Only then you will observe these things first within yourself. In electrical theory, the less resistance in a wire, the more easily it can carry energy. When you cultivate equanimity through meditation, it creates a state of non-resistance in your body. Prana, or chi, or inner energy, is simply your inner aliveness. What you feel when you bring your consciousness within the body. The subtle wires within your body that carry prana, the nadis, become able to move more and more pranic energy through the chakras. Your wiring becomes stronger as you use it, as you allow energy to flow. Wherever consciousness is placed, chi or energy will begin to flow and physical connections blossom. Within the brain and nervous system, physical wiring patterns become established by repetition. By continually placing your attention within and lowering resistance to the sensations you are experiencing, you increase your energetic capacity